All right, we're gonna run the camera system. Let's go run the right camera system. Oh, somebody's excited. Go get us a repo. Running the camera system today from Salt Lake. We've got a few to find up there. One from Kentucky, one from Michigan. The girl moved there, then moved back. And uh, gotta go through some hospital parking lots today. Looking for the Kentucky one. We got a plate just sent over. We're gonna put it in our camera system and find us some cars. Got an order of repossession for this vehicle. You want to grab some stuff out of it before we take it? Yeah, that's cool. Go ahead and grab some stuff out. camera hit on this one as we were rolling through and the guy was just getting out of his vehicle so we came back and made contact with him Stop out right now and we'll get a key from him. You got a good number for the call? Because Tyler says you can give him a call and talk about whatever you got to do to get it back and stuff if you're planning on trying to. Well, I was going to by the end of this week. I was just going to call him right now. Okay. okay, you got a good number for him? Yeah. Okay, cool. A lot of vehicles? Yeah, you get a a lot of them. We pick up about, we average about four a day. That's kind of the average. Yeah, sometimes we have busier days, sometimes we'll pick up eight or nine, and then we won't have any for two or three days. It, it, when you vary it out over the course of a year, it's about, it averages about four a day. Okay. Yeah, we're a pretty small company. There's bigger companies that pick up 30 a day. So it just depends on the size, how many banks you... Do you get a lot of banks people? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we get... I get probably at least two fights a week. Two we, fights, yeah. yeah. it's always girls, too. They always want to jump on the hood of the car and do crazy stuff. The guys, are, unless they're drunk or something, the guys are usually pretty cool. Uh, well, the thing is, I knew it was coming, I just didn't know. That's, yeah. It's, I don't know. Hard times, I guess, but... There's a lot, it's bad right now. This recession's hurting a lot of good people. There's a lot of people out of work right now. I actually had to pick up a second job while I'm doing this and stuff, and then I lost that job, and it's like, no one's, it's immune, no one's immune to it. It's, well, it's not that, you know, I try to tell Tyler, but the thing is, it makes me look bad, because I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, God, I need to pay it. Yeah. But there's, you know... There's a lot of things that also more come first. More important, yeah. You ain't got a roof over your head, what's it good to have a car, right? Food. You don't have food, you know? Well, that's what I was about to get right now. Food? Yeah. Bad timing, I hear you. Got it? Okay. We'll get out of here.
this vehicle out of here, get a GPS device on it and a wheel lock. And then we'll uh, come back and get our spotter vehicle and get it out of here and then we'll get a truck over here and get it picked up. It's a good repo, you know. I was on the phone with the finance company, wasn't able to get the first part of what was going on because there was a lot of talking back and forth of what was we were doing and not a lot to get on video but he was directing me about you know I'd gone to the grandpa's house and got some information about where he might be living and the grandpa said oh you know it's over here and over here so they called the finance company and gave him an update and then they came back and said hey that's near an area where we got an address for him and then uh, they, he, they gave me that address and we shot down here to this complex and it was hard to find and the address wasn't exact and so we looked around, looked around, finally found it, got in there and this came around the third bend and there he was. I actually saw the vehicle before the camera system did and as I went by the camera system went off and then he was just getting in the vehicle and so I backed up with the spotter vehicle and blocked him in, got out with a steering wheel lock, told him we needed keys and get his stuff out and he complied. I put a steering wheel lock on it and kept it blocked in until he got his stuff out. Went from there, we'll pull right up in here, we're going to pull over a neighborhood or so away and we'll pick a spot here where there's a no risk of it being towed park it right here and we'll put the steering wheel lock back on it just in case they're tenacious and they do happen to come looking for it I don't think that they're the kind of people that are going to really mess with this kind of stuff we told them if they wanted to, they could contact the finance company and make arrangements to get it back. And usually when people are talking about possibly getting a vehicle back, they don't dink around with trying to go look for the vehicle or anything like that. But make sure we lock it up. Leave it just like that. We'll be back in about 30 minutes with a truck. Get it picked up. I get to go for a little hike here back to my truck, which you want there to be a little space of time between when you come back and get your vehicle. That way they can get all their stuff cleared up out of the parking lot there and they'll go back inside the house and do their own thing and they won't even see me when I come walking up and jump in the Tahoe. It'll just seem like it just disappears to them. That's just all about timing and paying attention and stuff because you really don't want them to see you come walking back up and getting your vehicle because then they go, well, where's our vehicle? You know, but. I also told them in our conversation that I had a tow truck coming over, so as far as they know, maybe I met up with the tow truck and they gave it to them and their tow truck just dropped me off and they didn't see it, so you never know. But yeah, it's a good repo. We've been looking for this one for about a week now and this is a brand new address that we didn't have for them and we would have got the skip locate on it, but the finance company actually gave this to us and we were just out here in the field and we were their eyes and ears and able to execute it quickly. So. I'll get back over to the truck and head on to the next one. Looks like we might have just got another national up here in a hospital parking lot in Salt Lake County. It's an Acura with Florida license plates and it says it's from Florida on the paperwork. I'm going to go VIN it right now, but everything matches so far. 5078. Got my GPS device. our vehicle sitting here in a parking lot in a hospital in Utah. Get this thing tagged. Frame. That's two for us to pick up now when we get back up here. A national. Laid in and get clean this baby. All right, we're switched back over to the uh, F-250, and we're back up here in West Jordan. 
I've got the uh, GPS pulled up here and I ping the device again just to make sure it's still in the parking lot there in the hospital and it is in the exact location we left it so we're about one intersection away get our cameras ready and we should be pulling into there pretty shortly and then we'll uh, get this, uh, this footage on film here but uh, yeah this is another national hit uh, off the MB tracks camera system this is one of the ones that's in the national database that they have so not only do we look for local repos in our own area but we also look for ones that have skipped uh, nationally and this is one that somebody out of Florida has been trying to find and they have no idea where it's at so they've contracted with MB Recovery, who's the uh, recovery company that partners with MB Tracks to do their repos, and they uh, put it into their database, and we're up here running our camera system, and we got a hit on it, so now we're going to execute the repo. Alright, just pulling in the parking lot here. I also noticed when I was looking at the paperwork that it said that it's all-wheel drive, and I noticed that when I was up underneath it looking that it had drivetrains in the front and the rear so we're going to want to make sure that we break out the dollies to get this thing out of here. I have to maneuver my way up into the uh, parking spot just in front of it. Get our cameras going here.
Got it loaded, got the dollies on it. Get some lights on it. We'll be ready to go for the hospital so there's no real way of making contact, finding out where this person's at, who's driving it. Just, you, know, you know, we know the registered owner's name and that's about it, but that's not gonna tell us much about who might actually be driving it be his daughter out here working at the hospital for all we know or his ex-wife so get some lights on it and we'll uh, get out of here all right make sure we can clear this van get out of here Head over here to the hospital security office and let them know that we took this vehicle. Leave them our contact information. That way, the since the person is a out-of-state person, we can let them have a way to contact us directly to get personal property. And then that way, we can found that that's the fastest way to get keys. And we'll transport this to our yard and do a condition report, photos, all the paperwork required by our lender which is our client, and we'll get out of here. Did you get in the truck? Come on. It's pretty easy, huh, doggy? Lelo. Lelo. What's up? <laughs>